Hello, and welcome back to Dark Cloud. I'm Chan also known as Maras, and last episode, I did a grind episode. So basically, I went around grinding up all my weapons, so I got Toen's weapon to Dark Cloud, and Xiao's weapon to Divine Beast title. And uh, the one problem with that is I needed to get, um, what's it called? Mimic Breaker, so uh, I couldn't... I didn't have any Mimic Breakers, or enough Mimic Breakers to build it up, so I ended up having to off-screen upgrading Steve, the uh, slingshot we had, up to level 5 to give Xiao so that she could get <laughs> the Mimic Breaker. And her attack's at 105 and Toen's is at 115. So, let's get the Angel Shooter for Xiao! has a restorative ability. Heal. What does that do? Can I look at that? I don't know if I can. Zao needs more attack and magic, all the elements, and even more undead killer. Which is unfortunate, but whatever. I also got the uh, bandit slingshot up so I could slot in the um, the steel ability for Zao. Also seems like they've given us Oh yeah, Angel. Huh. Well, anything that's in the air is basically dead now. <laughs> um, I also got a star. I don't know what that star is for. I literally don't know what it's for. Um, but I need to get all the elements up. I don't think I'll be able to do that. I'll try my best, but... I literally spent so much time leveling up Xiao off-screen. Yeah, I just need undead. I don't know if the final boss is undead, but whatever. I also got Toen. Uh, I, I got a base lard up so I could give him some more attack and magic, because I needed that, as well as a little bit of undead. I don't remember why I have the sapphire in. Oh yeah, for the magic. And this was for the undead and thunder. So yeah, I did a lot in the last two episodes. I think it's roughly around two hours, and then I did a lot off-screen as well, because I didn't want to waste any more time for grinding, because uh, I wanted to progress. Because uh, I mentioned in the last episode, there is still one more dungeon, so having the max level weapons right now is not needed, but I'd like to be on that last ledge so that I don't have to more or less grind uh, if in the future. Oh, wait, I don't want to... Yeah, let's... See what I got. Yeah, I also got a lot of <laughs> grinding gear because I was expecting to grind some more. I grinded a bit of um, what's it called? Uh, uh, the jackal. Didn't get that far. Although I I was curious to see how much uh, I I could do with it, and I slotted the bandit slingshot that I just applied to Xiao into it, and apparently. Um, the max amount of damage the Jackal can do is 55, and I remember that you can max out the damage. Um, it's just only certain weapons can be maxed out of damage. Uh, I remember it happened to my... Base Lord, I think? I don't remember if it was, like... The Base Lord I have right now, but... Anyways, I want to uh, upgrade this so I could slot those things in there. Boom, it's got a nice star, uh, don't know what that means, I, maybe it means that you've put a weapon in, I don't know. Don't need any more damage, but I still need more magic, thunder, fire, and undead. So I need a lot for the dark cloud. I don't think I have any more gemstones. At least I don't need much more attack. But, that's besides the point. Could maybe. I really wanted to scum. I could take out this. Let's see what I would do for Tone. Go up to 40 and only 4. Uh, wind. I. Undead. 3. 
Yeah, it's not worth. Plus the the steal ability, like this the robbery ability. It usually only works for ranged attackers because they deal more uh, hits on enemies. So you don't want to really give it to a melee. You could. It's just not as effective. But Xiao and Toen both have weapons over 100 damage. Uh, just to show you the amount of time I spent on this, this is when I ended the episode, if I remember correctly, and this is when I uh, finished my offline saving. Oh so, yeah, a lot. Oh. Anyways, let's finish. Ninety-two. Okay. Uh, I think that means... It's facing the wrong way. It literally needs to be the exact same thing. But... Here. but I'm pretty sure I'm not. Where's that chest at? Yeah, this makes much more sense because the legs are right against this thing and the uh, head is kind of in the middle of... Yeah, it kind of makes more sense now. <laughs> Slot this bad boy right in. Did make a ball? like when you're a kid making Legos. Make sure everything pops into place. Boom, boom, boom. Is that correct? Hey, what are you doing, cat? Uh, under set. So, oh, there's a chest there. I don't know if it's because the request was fulfilled or not. Line up. I change his voice every time. Roger. Okay, now this is the mission. Listen up real carefully. Right now at Blue Terra, they're, they're in trouble. A monster called the Genie is eating up all the ground. Or eating up the ground. This is where we come. Boom, the data is in here. Their base is at Dark Haven Castle. Evil castle floating in the clouds. Uh, it used to be a castle of the east. The genie lifted it with magic. Now it's using and using it as, as its own. And it has company. Flag, Flag Gil Jister. Observe the East Lagoon Empire Army. His ties with the genie unknown. Now the mission Dark Haven Castle surrounded by a thick cloud created by the dark energy. This cloud is not easy to penetrate. 
However, with my original Sun Giant, that dark cloud could be easily penetrated. But gee, on Earth, that's easy. Nonsense, it works perfectly. The Sun Giant became perfect with the Pez Sphere that was integrated. There's nothing to fear. But they broke in the test run. Ah, anxiety still remains. No more breaking into pieces, I hope. <laughs> Didn't say anything. Shut your mouth. Stop fussing and let's get ready to attack Dark Haven Castle. All, pos all in position. Roger. Ross, you get ready for the last battle too. Call to me when you're ready. I guess he's here now. Well, there was a chest inside the laboratory that I guess. I'm just gonna grab that real quick. What if it's like the last fluffy donut? I need that. For reasons. Any chests, because apparently putting in requests gave me a chest. Maybe I just didn't pick it up because I'm blind. And the ground... Is the one? Yeah, what are you? Fire! I kinda need that, so that's nice. Alright. Seems that's it. That's it. Let's head on back to, uh... Osmond, so that we can head on over to the Dark Haven Castle. Final dungeon. I spent a good long two to th actually technically three hours grinding just so that I could perfectly be optimized for this dungeon. Probably way overpowered, actually. Oh, wait, this is one. F literally one. One step off, I need to be at that house right there. Wait, no. That house right there. No. This is Lumba's house. That means I need to be at that house right there. I know what I'm doing. I'm a professional. Totally not like I spent three hours of my life just working on something for some YouTube video. And I went to the wrong house. <laughs> it's that house. I'm certain. <laughs> 100%. Couldn't be any other house. I never even doubted myself. <laughs> I forgot which house I was trying to get to um, by the second house I failed to go to. Alright, Osmond. Yes, I'm ready. Okay, let's get inside the giant. Come on guys, let's move it. Uh, how do we do this again? This is all just a tad unsettling. Right here. How does it feel, Maros? See, it's gonna customize the fit you. Don't worry, it's easy to operate. Place your hands on the control sphere so picture the giant's movements. Literally Power Rangers. Alright. Sun Giant launch. What about the other companions? Dome open. We're literally flying a mech through space. Glorious. Hey ya! Hey ya! We won't miss it this time! I 
I don't remember this at all. I remember the uh, scene after this, but I don't remember it actually flying or getting up. I mean, man, so much nice music in the last bit here. Listen, Ross, the destination is Dark Haven Castle. Cut through the clouds now. That one is such a badass. I already talked about this, but like, this kid is doing above and beyond. Ow. Holy fucking shit. He has a jetpack. This thing has a jetpack. That's fucking cool. Hey, it's the castle. Hey, it's the guy. You know that guy we met in that one place? Uh, like, the castle. It's certainly changed. I don't remember his voice. It's literally been since the beginning of the game since we talked to this guy. There's no way I, in hell I would even remember it if I don't even remember Osman's voice. Sedda, what do you plan to do? Hey! Simba, what are you doing here? That's my line. Oh wait, <laughs> that's my line. It's you who's an unexpected here. You haven't changed. Well, maybe you're a little older. <laughs> Of course, it's been 400 years. So you've been living in this age, using the forbidden spell. Yes, I thought about it and came up with an idea for defeating him. An idea for defeating him? At first, my plan was to acquire the alt Milia, But in this age, I realized I didn't have the power to seal the genie. Then I met him. Him? You met Maras? Yes. One look and I knew. Ross has something I no longer have. I thought I could defeat the Dark Genie with it. So I have led him I have led him on by leaving treasures in his path. Well, you, you helping others. <laughs> helping others? <laughs> no, that's not it. I just want to settle his curse and fate on my own. In two days he will completely take over my mind. I have things to do before that happens. Soon, Maras will arrive at this castle, or he does. Open the door to the past, the day in that moment. Some lore. So I guess he's the one that's been leaving the monster chests? My sick-ass robot. This cloud's pretty th darn thick. Wonder how deep it goes. A boss! I see a way through. What? <gasps> Generic enemy. No, I don't see a way through. It's like a tunnel. A tunnel of dark clouds. That's... Dark Haven Castle! Cave and Castle. Here. Here it is. I don't remember the voice for the general. I think this is the general speaking. You are quite something coming all this way. Now then, monster, let's play. God, he's evil. His eyes are red. All right, time to kick the shit out of this door. Oh, wow, that's got a full-on battle vibe. This, this could be it for us, huh? Jeez, man, don't go and jinx us now. I like to think if he, he's sleeping. Okay, Maras, we're in. Boss, look right in front of us. Well, well, look at that. Here it goes. Commence attack. All right, Maras, it's up your turn. Don't blow it. Oh, don't tell me I have to actually fight the thing. I don't remember this. Is it just a cutscene? Please be. Oh, it's the music! Yo, know, this is my ringtone right now. <laughs> Whee! So 
you thought we'd be flying on Dren, but no. We're in a fucking mech. Wow, it's huge. Watch yourself. <laughs> oh, wow, look out. It's not getting around. Well, hey. That hurt. Now you have me really upset. Not pulling my punches anymore. Get ready. Lag. I can just kill it now. Go for it. Oh. And uh, that's the end of the game, guys. We lost. <laughs> just kidding. You got me angry, monster. You got only self to blame. <laughs> Not this sun giant. So they got sun in the name. <laughs> Not even a scratch. It's not gonna work on us, uh, on this giant. That's what I just said. And now it's our turn. You guys, are you ready? Sun Ken. Fire! I remember this episode of Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, we literally did nothing, it was just a cutscene. <laughs> Mission accomplished. We destroyed the Dark Genie. <laughs> it was just that easy, guys. Game over. B boss. Look! Hmm? Or, hmm? Oh no, it's... It's the guy. <laughs> well, in the end, the mouse is just a mouse. I suppose the ruse is up. What you called the genie. <laughs> that was this little one right here. The lucky little rodent that found its way into the urn while I was still imprisoned. It's a mere proximity to me, allowed it to absorb tremendous magic power. But obviously, it was a poor material for power. Your easy victory over it was proof of its limitations. And that rat's dead. The boy riding that overground tin can must be keeper of the Altamilia. Do you remember me, boy? No, but then last we met. This didn't... I didn't look like this. I congratulated you for coming this far. Well done. I really have no tangible physical form. I used this fool's body. The fool broke the owner's spell. Blinded by greed. And then the mouse was to be my instrument through this fool to bring the world's end. But enough with sharing secrets. Do you understand now? This long game was fun, but I will end it. Listen well, Altamilia boy. I will rule this land. I will create an ideal world and an immaculate Eden where, end, where darkness rules. Now you will truly understand power. My power. The real dark genius power. Your education begins. Here we go. Oh, what's that? Yikes! Yikes! Die. He's using Shadow Ball. I love that Pokemon move. And just like that, the Sun Giant's broken. Well, guys, it was a nice playthrough. <laughs> what? The body of this man could not handle the power. Typical. Humans are so fragile. But that's that. I must seek a new host. And that guy's dead too. This genie has a kill count of one rat, one boy, and 
as far as I know, that's it. Hey, wait a minute. I remember this. From the cutscene. Except Osman wasn't there. What? You? What kind of rescue do you call this? Did you abandon the others? Don't worry about it. They are probably all caught in that thick layer of clouds. To <laughs> clouds below. We'll take care of them. But we don't have time for that now. We gotta hurry to Darkhaven Castle. Genie's weakened, but it won't last long. This is probably our only shot. And Dran comes out of nowhere to save us. I mean, he is a divine beast. You'd think that he'd feel the energy and know when time has come. But here we are. Our Cayman Castle. Now go on, Ross. That monster's fierce one. Keep your wits about you. And the others are dead. Um, <laughs> Dran didn't wanna want us to go save them because he knows that. They were. I actually don't know what happens to them because they never beat the game, and I don't know if they ever get saved. So for all I know, they are actually dead, and we'll find out that they are in fact dead. <laughs>